Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot Aquarius. Thank you to all the support on the channel, the likes, the subscribes, the views. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is going to be your reading from the 19th to the 25th of April. So remember the oracle cards go here, the tarot cards go here. So the oracle are always all for you and the tarot are the people around you, but you could show up over there as well. So you decide how the cards apply to you, I just read them. And I'm going to have a drawing when I reach 5,000 subscribers to give away a deck of my cards. So if you're interested, keep track of that. When I get close, I'll have a drawing and I'll have more information on how to enter. Whoa, Crystal is rolling. Alright, so the first one for you, Aquarius, is keeping it in check. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important detail. So eight is infinity to me. So I do feel like it's on the surface and you're kind of looking deep. So there's a surface of something that you're just overlooking, I feel. So the next one is 13, gliding through currents. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease, going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, or behavior into the now, into the flow, will help your dreams take flight. So what did I see? Different approach will make you... Okay, it just talks about, so something is changing. This is the manta ray. The manta ray swims with their mouth open. So there could be some issue with communication, I feel, that some of you are experiencing. So I'm going to switch now to the Chark Wisdom deck. So I feel like there's something on the surface you're overlooking, you're not seeing, you're looking too deep for something, and it's right on the surface. And then gliding through the currents kind of means to me just going with the flow of the energy around you. And something about communication. So, kind of go with the communication around you. It seems so that's saying it's going to be easy when you change some sort of communication with somebody. It's going to be easier than you think. So, the first one for the energy around you is Princess of Coins. So, there's somebody around you who's very stable, who's practical, who's very honest. And we have a Princess of Wands. So, we have two princesses. This princess is new beginning, she's very protected. I feel like this is more of um, a naive princess, and this is more of a, um, oh, how can I say it, just career-oriented princess. So then you have Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is somebody using very harsh words, being very bitter, if you will, somebody who is very angry, somebody who is watching you. So Five of Swords is third party situation sometimes, but this is conflict. Somebody not getting along in a relationship. So we have two princesses and two cards for conflict, not getting along, and harsh words. So then we have the Devil. So the Devil is Capricorn energy. I feel like somebody invested in a relationship or a person at least or a situation and somebody didn't give back anything. They kind of like hid themselves on the person and so I feel like the universe kind of wanted to teach somebody not to be so giving to people you don't really know who they are. So maybe there was something with your stability or your coins or your jobs that this person interfered with. So Six of Cups is healing from past um, love relationship that is in the past, healing from it. And then Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands to me is a warrior mode, having your walls up, your boundaries up. So there's a lot of harsh fire aggressive energy in this reading so far Aquarius so then you have the Hierophant so the Hierophant to me could be somebody getting involved with the court system there could have been police activity I feel in the situation yeah I feel like the courts are getting involved lawyers something going on here so the next one we have is King of Cups so King of Cups is somebody trying to control somebody I feel like there's a king who wants somebody to fit in the spires of his chair and he wants to control somebody. So the high priestess, wow. So the high priestess is somebody who was smarter than the king I feel thought they were. This is somebody who learned from a past relationship. So I feel like somebody saw red signs and they knew what was coming. Their gut kind of told them. So the moon. So the moon is Pisces energy to me, but this is um, secrets coming to be known. Something balancing out from the dark to the light. And somebody's aware of it. I mean, this person could be psychic. 
So then you have temperance. Temperance to me is something coming a second time around. It wasn't right timing the first time. It also could mean um, past life, knowledge, a relationship, something of that sort. All right, so I think I'm going to switch to, I guess I'll go one more, Laroe. So Ten of Swords is betrayal. There's some sort of betrayal from somebody who's codependent. And then the Hanged Woman. So the Hanged Woman kind of tells me the person who had intuition, um, knowledge to what was going on, kind of held back to see what comes out. And the Tower. So somebody knew the Tower was coming. They just were waiting for it to drop, basically. And the Tower means something has to change. So either a door closes or it reconstructs itself. So Five of Cups is somebody looking to the past, missing somebody. So somebody's looking at this tower moment and looking possibly, I feel, at how this um, happened or how it related to a past situation maybe. So I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck now. Whoa, two of them just fell out. So let's get those. Well, three fell out. So the first one of those is for a verse. So this is selfish. This is somebody who's an equal opportunity taker. They don't just take from you. They take from everybody. They hurt everybody. So then you have the Capricorn placement twice. This is toxic energy. This is somebody who's angry, aggressive. They have no desire to be kind to you. 4FC. 4FC is somebody who's depression. So depressed. I feel like after the tower moment, somebody gets severely depressed. Severely depressed. So the hanged woman could indicate somebody's waiting for timing to be right. Yeah, there's a lot of issues around timing in this. There really is. So a couple different events going on that are faded. So two of earth is balance. Something balancing and strength at the same time. So Lover situation, Gemini placement. So it could be a lover that was really selfish, obviously, that betrayed you. That was weird. And then you have Nine of Fire. So Nine of Fire, to me, is addiction. So we have addiction going over the Capricorn energy or the toxic energy. And then Nine of Wands. Nine or Nine of Earth. Nine of Earth is somebody looking to their big future and their picture. I feel like somebody's depressed and they don't see their future getting better. They don't see the good things that are coming to them. And then Three of Fire, somebody asking the universe why things are happening the way they are. So somebody's trying to figure out why their life is the way it is. So then you have um, stars, which is you, Aquarius. This is you, but I feel like because the lion's in there, it could be related to Leo, too. So this is you having wish fulfillment and dreams concerning the lover situation, I feel. It's going to get stronger. This person is going to be loyal to you, whoever this is. But we have selfish. So they're selfish. Maybe they're just selfish about you. So three of earth is co-workers looking at you, watching you. But it's clarifying the addiction card. So I don't know if you have some co-workers that are addicted and they're watching you trying to learn some skill from you. So the cat is taking a leap of faith. So I feel like somebody is going to change from the depression. So the depression is in, somebody's looking to the universe for answers and they're going to change it somehow. I don't, you are. Some or whoever this relates to. Feel free to vice versa masculine feminine energies or apply a card to who you think it applies to versus who I'm applying it to. So I do feel like somebody's getting ready to take a new chance. They're going to do something. And then the next one is Ace of C. This is true love. So somebody's going to switch it up and do something new. Either go towards love, I feel. New beginning. So ending. So there's some sort of ending to a love situation. So somebody's taking a leap of faith, true love, and then an ending. So some door is going to close, I feel. So somebody can totally pursue a new love. So Eight of Fire talks about blame. So I feel like there's co-workers that may be blaming. So, And then Seven of Fire. Seven of Fire is somebody defending themselves to other people. So Grace. Grace is talking kind to yourself, going through the emotions, but staying on your path, knowing the long term you're going to end up where you want to be. 
even though you're having this hard time. So, an ending, blame, conflict, and staying on your path. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of you now, Aquarius. So for you, we have Superhero 31. So Superhero connects me to communication. Communication or feelings, because we have, it kind of matches out there. Gliding through the current, Superhero. And then the next one is Bazinga 19, which is a 10. So something is going to end, I feel. There's going to be an ending where it's going to rain light on the dark. The darkness is going to fade away and be replaced with light. But something about you noticing something on the horizon or on the on the surface, changing with ease, communicating something is going to and an ending is going to be good for you in some way. So the next one is Divine Love 27. So Divine Love talks about your heart and soul coming into their light, coming into their own where you know your power. And look at superhero and divine love would kind of be the same thing. And maybe this is what you're not noticing on the surface about yourself. Then that your emotions are in check, that you're grounded, that you're a good communicator, I feel, Aquarius. And then the next one is Divine Connection. So Divine Connection talks about healing yourself, aligning your chakras. She has a bracelet in the lotus flower, and it's white, so purity is coming to you. You can heal the bad and push the negativity out of your energy and your life and try to control the thinking of the negative energy and replace it with love and healing and beautiful light. I always mention that there's energy healers out there in your area. You just have to Google it. Um, and some of them are very kind and they'll work with you on payments because they're just, most of them are empaths or just very spiritual. So keep that in mind if you feel like you need to clear energy from family members or friends or loved ones, relationships that you feel have blocked you. If you feel like your energy is blocked in any way, it would be a good suggestion to do that. So... Just keep that in mind. There's videos on YouTube you can watch too while you're sleeping to try and align your energy. So the f next one for you is going to be Lord. Take charge of the authority. So this talks about you're going to come in. Your heart and soul is going to align. You're going to feel kind of powerful like a superhero. You're going to feel really supported by the universe. And you're going to go towards a new beginning that is going to be really strong. You're very protective. You're very strong in your spirituality or your religion. And there's something to do with some sort of, I feel like you're really opinionated on some sort of medical issue. There's some sort of medical illness thing that you're really opinionated on is what I'm getting. I don't really understand what that means. You're really strong. You're really sticking to what your belief system is and something around that. All right, so now I'm going to one more magic guardian, unlock the magic within. So this talks about your heart, working with your heart, like to make yourself when you're in a situation where you're like, I could be very loving and kind here, or I could just not even care and deal with this and walk away. They're asking you to work with your heart, to be loving with your heart. It could help align your soul and clear your energy if you have bad energy. Somewhere that you accumulated, you can rebalance that with putting good energy towards somebody. So it's really talking about you have loving magic within you. I feel like this is 100% having to do with love because of the heart on her shirt there. So I feel like you're being faded too by the universe because of the angel wings. I just feel like you have somebody a lot of protection. I see a lot of protection up there. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Bless you.